Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's nice to be back on the camera while vlogging. Uh, picking up from where I left off, really, it's Sunday the 3rd, I want to say, or the 2nd of November, and uh, I've just literally just started reading Happy Slapped by a Jellyfish by Carl Pilkington. So this will be a humorous little read. So yeah, I'm going to go and do some editing now, and I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. Peace. Oh, hello. I am so tired, man. It is Monday the... What time is it? Monday the, f Monday the 4th of November. I had my anxiety meeting earlier. I'm currently watching Suze Booknuck, actually. I'm watching her dog, Skippy, I think he's called. He's playing with a toy. It's very... Um, apparently, my camera battery's on low as well. I don't have a huge amount to talk to you about, really. I did a little bit of charity shopping earlier, so I've got a haul to film. I've got a parcel here to unbox as well. I have just pretty much finished reading Happy Slap by a Jellyfish by Carl Pilkington. I do have these new books though, so I might even read this next, Foundation by Isaac Asimov. I've been meaning to get to this for a while, uh, and I finally saw it in a charity shop. Although saying that, I have also just done my latest uh, My Cat Picks My TBR video, so I've got three books to, to read for Biggie, so maybe I'll do that. Hopefully gonna get a good night's sleep tonight, and then uh, hopefully see Noemi tomorrow. So, I was gonna see her tonight, but we're both super tired, so. <laughs> Early night, yeah, and I can listen to my new vinyls that I bought, so that's also very exciting. And uh, it's bed, that's very exciting too. I was in bed at half eight last night. Hello, anxious Dane here. Um, made slightly more anxious by the fact I've got a dentist appointment tomorrow, and my dentist just rang me and I missed the call, but I don't know what it's for. But hey ho, such is life. I finished reading Happy Slapped by a Jellyfish. It was pretty good. Uh, to be honest, the humour gets a little boring towards the end, but it was kind of just about the right size, like 230 pages. So yeah, I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. And now I'm currently reading Foundation by Isaac Asimov, which I've wanted to read for years. So I finally got to it. I'm probably going to do a full review of this. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting to some more of this and giving you an update. I think that's about all I have for you, really. I don't know if we're going to see this movie tonight or not. Um, my anxiety is really bad as well today, which isn't good. I've just watched The Phantom Menace in French. Uh, Jar Jar Binks is as annoying in French as he is in English, I can confirm. And, uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's all I've got for you, really. Yeah. It's a quick and easy burger hash. Vegan burger hash, very nice. Like onions and peppers and mushroom and stuff. She walked straight through me when I opened up my arms. She always had behind my mirror.
everything I want to be But nothing's quite as simple as she seems to make it seem She's a ghost woman She's a ghost woman now She's a ghost woman She's a ghost now woman And I'm losing my mind Well, she's a ghost woman She's a ghost woman now She's a ghost woman She's a ghost woman And I'm losing my mind My face hurts, so I made soup, broccoli soup. I made some bagels for breakfast, yeah. And I'm listening to, what is it called? Pure Soft Rock, I think it's called. No, Pure Soft Metal. It's totally not metal. Look, here's the track listing. But it does have some bangers. Hello, it is Thursday. Thursday the 7th of November, so I'll give you a little update. Basically, what happened on Monday? Monday was anxiety meeting. Tuesday, I just stayed in. Uh, I was potentially gonna go and see Naomi, but, but um, she was tired. I think I was tired on Monday, because we were talking about going to see this film. Wednesday, I had to go to the dentist. I had to have four fillings, four fillings. And they basically said, well, they said there were like three main reasons why I, I, like my teeth were fucked. And one is beer, one is smoking, and one is drinking smoothies. So I've been joking that I'm gonna quit smoothies. <laughs> No, I should quit smoking. Uh, please comment below and call me a dirty smoker, I guess, and then maybe that'll encourage me to quit smoking. They are going to um, send me, they're going to like refer me to this quit smoking course, so that should be good. And like a while back, I quit for like, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, something like that. But I was on that medication, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, but it's meant to help you quit smoking, but it also made me feel like really nauseous all of the time. And also gave me these crazy dreams where everyone was trying to kill me. So, yeah, I stopped taking the meds and then I ended up smoking again, you know. But um, last year, for about three or four months, I quit smoking. Was it last year? Or was it the year before? I don't even know. I think it was last year. So, uh, so yeah, that happened. Uh, after the dentist, I went to see No Amy then because she got me some ice cream. <laughs> I was had some broccoli soup. I think I showed you the broccoli soup. So that was nice. Just played some guitar. Been working on a cover of um, The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. I don't know why that took me so long. And ironically, me figuring out the title was preceded by like three seconds of silence. But uh, yeah, so we did that. Uh, then I'm back here today. I've been working all day. I've managed to stay awake since 7 a.m. or something. I am very tired though. Uh, I've got to go out this evening as well to, to uh, play a gig in Maidenhead with The Ilk, which is the duo I'm in with my friend Dave. So we're gonna go there. I'm not gonna take the camera because last time I took the camera to this place, I lost the camera. So I'm not gonna do that again. Even though I don't think I'm gonna drink, I just, I can't be doing with the stress really. Because I don't really feel like playing. Uh, tomorrow there's the open mic at the Arts Centre, which I am gonna go to, uh, but I'm not hosting. I think I talked about this because uh, I got some negative feedback. I got some negative comments on my YouTube today as well. I had one on an old video where someone said something like, I hope you've lost weight since this. So I replied, me being me, I replied being, oh, thanks for your concern. Yeah, I'm actually in the best shape I've been in my adult life, thank you. Um, and then another one on my review of American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, because I pointed out that Ellis uses Trump as a symbol of capitalism. And actually, I even said that to the point at which it's kind of annoying because he's hammering this point home too heavily. And like, he's kind of forcing your, his views down your throat. And uh, yeah, someone called me a libtard who just wanted to find fault with the greatest president ever. It's like, I, I'm talking about American Psycho, mate. Literally the only time I talked about Trump was to say that. Or at least I think so. To be honest, I didn't rewatch the video. Maybe I was harsh about Trump. I don't care. <laughs> libtard though. I've never been called a libtard before, and actually I don't think I've ever been fat shamed before. I get other stuff. I get called like scruffy a lot, and yeah. Anyway, currently reading, I finished reading Asimov Foundation. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed with it, just because it was so hyped up, and it's, you know, one of, it's an iconic book, you know? Uh, probably one of the best known series 
by one of the best known authors of science fiction. And it was just alright. It did have some really interesting ideas in it, but I didn't think it could compare to like iRobot or The End of Eternity or e even like I enjoyed The Rings of Saturn more. Saturn. I don't know why I said it like that. The Rings of Saturn. Uh, I enjoyed that one more. So yeah, I mean Asimov's great, and I like I still gave it a three point five out of five. It was it was it was good. It just wasn't as good as I was expecting, you know. So it was kind of a little bit of a letdown because of that. But hey ho, at least I read it. And now I'm reading The Mystery of Three Quarters by Sophie Hanna. So this is the new Hercule Poirot mystery. It's approved by the Agatha Christie estate. I've read another one of the ones she did. Was, was it called Closed Casket, I think? Was it, yeah, it was called Closed Casket. And that one was quite good, so I picked this one up. And this one's really good, actually. Like, if you're an Agatha Christie fan, you should definitely pick it up, I think. And this one, basically, the concept is that uh, four different people all come up to Hercule Poirot. And they're like, Monsieur Poirot! Why did you send me this letter accusing me of killing Barnaby Rudd? Barnaby Rudd? Isn't it? Oh, Barnabas Pandy. Close enough. Yeah, there are some weird names in this. And, um, yeah, he didn't send the letters. And then there are these four people who've all been, you know, accused of it. And so now I guess he's sort of investigating who sent the letters and why. And was Barnab Barnaby... What was that guy? Was he murdered or was it an actual death? Because he was like 94 and he drowned in the bath. So, you know, who knows? I haven't got that far yet. But I am enjoying it a lot so far. The only thing I would say is it's very strange because you can tell it's not a Christie book. Because Poirot speaks a lot more French in this. Like, in any scene he's in, it's basically like every page he'll say something in French. Whereas, at least to my recollection, and I've read quite a few Poirots by Christie, he does say stuff, but like maybe more like once a chapter rather than once a page, you know? But, uh, you know, c'est la vie, mon ami. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. It actually was, was pretty much entirely focused on just the worst therapist. Just watching Cam do his uh, reading wrap up, I guess. This is Cam from Wolf Shop Publishing, check him out. So I want to give you a quick update. Uh, I can't remember the last time I updated actually, but basically, yeah, yesterday I played with Dave at the Anchor, which is this pub in Maidenhead. This time there were people, so it was all right. Um, yeah, and we played for like an hour and 45 minutes, something like that, played a bunch of tunes. Uh, I got four beers as my rider, so that was cool. Uh, and so yeah, that was yesterday, and then today, where's my book gone actually? Oh, I left it out there. I'm still reading um, Sophie Hannah's The Mystery of the Three Quarters. It's really good so far. I'm about halfway through now, and I don't really know how it's going to resolve. And it's definitely got that crusty feel to it, you know? So um, yeah, I'm happy I'm reading it, and I'll probably finish it soon. Well, I'll give you an update. So this evening is currently quarter to five at about six o'clock. No, Amy's coming over. I'm going to make some quinoa chili. We're going to play some music and then we're going to go to the Art Centre open mic, so that should be good. And we might even check out some other mu live music that's happening after that. And then I'm guessing I'm staying at hers, I don't know, I haven't asked yet, we'll find out later. Uh, and then she's going back to France, and so I'm going to spend the weekend, I'm going to see my mum in Tamworth. And that means a lot of time on a train, which means a lot of reading time, so I'm very excited. And I've got a, dr a buddy read of Dreamcatcher coming up, and I can't remember who it's with now. So I'll have to check. But yeah, cool. I'm gonna go. I need a Wii. I didn't know I needed a Wii until I started filming. Why so paranoid? These windows are opaque. And try to stay awake for Mrs. Thatcher's sake. And hey, make way for me. On the body of me. Somewhere else.
Hello, um, sorry I haven't updated you for a couple of days. I went home to stay with my mum, but we didn't really do anything. So I travelled back after the open mic, which you've seen some footage of. I travelled back on a Saturday morning. Saturday we just stayed at her place and, you know, I got some work done and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, obviously it was lovely to see her. And then on Sunday we went to um, like a big, I think it was called the JTF Warehouse and it's like a big wholesalers kind of thing or well they get stuff wholesale and then they sell it on to the general public uh, so they have like super low prices so I got some stuff for the house from there and uh, then we went to Asda because I wanted to track down some vegan cheeses and uh, oh Biggie's taking a shit I can see him over there in his tray um, yeah and I got a new coat and this hoodie well not a hoodie just a jumper I don't know if it's folded out properly it says winter is here on it and it's a Game of Thrones one. There you go. You can kind of see that. Winter is here. Very cool. So yeah, there's that. Um, when I was away, I finished reading The Mystery of Three Quarters by Sophie Hanna. It's, it's currently over there. Uh, this was the Agatha Christie, the new one from the Agatha Christie estate. Did enjoy it. I gave it like a four out of five overall. And I'll be doing a full review of that as well. Basically, I did enjoy it. I thought she did great. And actually, she did really well in the other one of hers that I've read as well. The only real difference is that I think she treats Poirot a little more kindly. I think Christie showed his, his bad negative traits off a lot more. And also her Poirot speaks more French than Christie's Poirot does. But other than that, uh, it was pretty much indistinguishable from the, from the normal stuff. So that was good. And it was about uh, this, basically four different people all receive letters that say that they're from Hercule Poirot, accusing them of murdering this guy called Barnabas Pandy. And uh, then, obviously, Poirot ends up investigating. So now I'm reading Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. It looks like I haven't tabbed it out. I've been doing it on my phone. I need to add physical tabs to it for when I, I will be doing a full review of this one. This is a review as well with, I think it's with Stacey Stories. I also need to remember to email her. And, um, yeah, it's kind of like an alien novel set in the, the Derry, Maine winter, you know? Uh, they're lost in the, the north woods of Maine. So... Yeah, I'm about getting on for halfway through. I probably read today, I think I read 150, 160 pages of it, which puts me on 264 of 700. So I'm not quite halfway, but I'll probably be halfway by the end of tomorrow, I think. But I'm enjoying it so far. It's a little bit slow going at times, but um, it's definitely enough to keep me reading where there have been some of King's books where I've just had to switch them out for, as my bedtime book and read them a little bit of a bit at a time in the evening. So yeah, that's where I'm at and this seems like a good place to end this vlog as it's a Monday as well. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.